This is question 52 on chemistry from the 2018 ENSA. So you're told that a solid mixture containing calcium carbonate and an inert substance was added to 50 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid with a concentration of 0.1 molar. You're told that after reaction, the carbon dioxide was removed by heating and the solution was then neutralized with 12.5 ml of sodium hydroxide, also with a concentration of 0.1 molar. And you're asked what was the original mass of calcium carbonate at the start. And the MR is 100 grams for calcium carbonate. You're also given the equation for this reaction. Calcium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid forms calcium chloride, carbon dioxide, and water. So where should we go first? Well, why don't we interpret this information about the HCl at the start? So we know the concentration is 0.1 molar and the volume is 50 centimeters cubed. So what can we work out from this? That'll be the number of moles. But what do we need to do first? The volume is in centimeters cubed, but the concentration is in decimeters cubed. So let's change the volume by dividing by 1,000 to give 0.05 decimeters cubed. So how do we work out the number of moles from this? Remember that N is CV. So putting the numbers in gives 0.1 mole per decimeters cubed times 0.05 decimeters cubed. So times in by 0.1 is the same as dividing by 10. And what does this come out as? 0.005 moles of HCl initially. Is there anything else that we can interpret in the question? What about the sodium hydroxide? We're told that we've got 12.5 centimeters cubed and 0.1 molar concentration. So let's write this down. Again, I've changed the units for volume. Why don't we work out the number of moles for this as well? Putting the numbers in gives 0.1 moles per decimeters cubed times 0.0125 decimeters cubed. Again, we're just dividing this by 10, and that comes out as 0.0125 moles of sodium hydroxide required to neutralize the hydrochloric acid. So what does this information tell us? We started with this much hydrochloric acid, and the hydrochloric acid left over after this reaction needed this much sodium hydroxide to be neutralized. How much hydrochloric acid does this correspond with? Well, if you think of the equation between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide, what's the reacting ratio? If you can't remember, just draw this equation. So it's one to one between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. So it's gonna be the same number of moles of hydrochloric acid that was neutralized. So does this help us work out how much calcium carbonate we started with? We know that we started with this much hydrochloric acid and after this reaction, this much was left over. So how much HCl reacted? with the calcium carbonate? Well, 0 0.005 minus 0 0.00125 is 0 0.00375 moles. And so how much calcium carbonate reacted with this? Remember that the number two means that we use twice as much hydrochloric acid than we use calcium carbonate. So we need to halve this. What's half of 0 0.00375? That's 0 0.00185. So can we now work out the mass of calcium carbonate? So we have the number of moles that was used. How do we work out mass from moles? We use mass is number of moles times relative molecular mass, which usefully is given here. So let's put the numbers in. We have this many moles times this many grams per moles. That times 100 is a nice easy one. It's 0.1875 grams. And this is how much calcium carbonate we started with. So the final answer on the question paper is C.